Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you about drainage of peat moss versus potting mix and a couple of differences um, you can see. Here I've got our peat moss that we have uh, and in another pot here I've got just a general potting mix grey. Um, now as you can hear the terms potting mix, there is you know, multiple of items in this mix. The majority of it being pine bark, which is being decomposted down to a point where it's usable that you can actually start planting plants in it. Um, there's also like sand and gravel, um, other characteristics in there, in there to try and hold on to some of the moisture that you do give it. In our potting mix, um, it is being imported from overseas. There is, it's all sustainably farmed. Uh, there's a bit from Canada. A bit from Holland, a bit from Lithuania, um, sort of blended together, um, but it is just peat moss, just a couple of different types of greys, um, black, and just brown. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water to these pots, and let's see how they sort of behave, and what you can sort of start to see, so you can start to understand how better to work with peat moss. So first I'm going to add just a few seconds of water to the pine bark mix. About three seconds of water there. And if I hold this up, straight away, you can see we're starting to lose that water we've just given it. Now that is because when you're adding water to this, it is basically just going around all the pine bark. The pine bark doesn't hold on to any moisture at all. You just, you basically, you're just wetting these little chips. Now the sand and the gravel and the other combinations that do go into these mixes are water grabbing onto the moisture. So you can kind of start to see the different bits of pieces that they've put into this mix. So if I grab about a handful and give that a squeeze, that's a really hard squeeze. You can see a little bit of moisture coming out of it and it just kind of breaking up in my hand and falling away. Now, if I do the same to the peat moss. One, two, three. I'm trying to be as bad a crew as I can. If I lift that up. So you can see, we'll give it the same amount of water, but, oh, there we go. We're now starting to drip now. So you can start to see how that absorbs the water a lot better and is holding onto it. So it's important to remember that, that you don't need as much because it stays in the soil. Now if I lift this out, you can straight away see it's looking really, really wet. If I give that a squeeze, squeeze, you can start to see how much moisture that can hold. So you can see it's looking a bit better level. I can even give it more of a squeeze again. That's really holding on to a lot more moisture. Now, it's important um, if you're not sure how often to water. I've done another video on how, when you should water your plants. Um, so please check that one out um, because you don't want to have it constantly sitting in a wet, wet bog. But having that in there means you don't have to water as often because there's still going to be moisture in this when this mixture is completely dry. Thanks for watching. If you have any video, any questions, um, send them through. I'm happy to try and answer them for you. Thanks.